Okay, so sorry for my audio. I don't have a headset using my laptop uh, mic. So I just want to show you something that I've been working on. Um, see what is your opinion when it comes to um, a complete league for Call of Duty Mobile. This one here is for Battle Royale. And is it doesn't only um, rank, you know, give the setup. You can set up the points. Um, this here pretty much is for the internal um, league. Let's say Mobile Mayhem, right? This will be their area. Um, this is where they set up their points for placement. And over here um, on, on this. <clears throat> Um, spreadsheet that I done um, you not only rank teams but you can also rank players as well and the main purpose of it is for um, as a tool for esports that way other like bigger organizations can look at it and be like oh wow wait a minute um, these players are exactly what I'm looking for maybe they be able to get them as a free agent based on their skills set same as um, for teams um, um, all of these are ranked based on tiers and see this is for the <clears throat> for the league um, player stats which will be used uh, i'm going to show you in a little bit for ranking their players as tier one tier two pro tier or whatever so this is based on the see this is for the damage they did in, in game um these are the points here they get towards the ranking system for that particular damage um per game also um the kills per game so there's a slot here a tab here where you can add all, all of that information and you set up pretty much you also all you do here in this tab is setting up the point system um and this is for the tournament ranking which is based on the finals team based on the league itself so if you want to set up a different ranking or a placement um, point system for the tournament or or the grand finals you can do so on this area right here same for the kills how many points per kill <clears throat> they will get and this one is a, an all-around ranking system this is pretty much let's say you are partner with different leagues, um, community leagues in Call of Duty Mobile for Battle Royale. So this is where you create your own point system for multiple um, leagues. Alright, so now let me show you how pretty much everything looks like. The slot, this is where you put, um, I did up to 30 slot even though Call of Duty Mobile goes up to 25, <clears throat> but I just did it just just to have them there. These as extras, maybe they could be subs in case one of these teams doesn't show up. We can go ahead and use one of these teams to replace them. So over here, you set up the slots for each team. Let's say. Um, match it with an in-game with the in-game slot so let's say um, I'm also added four different regions let's say you want to do North America and you want to change you want to update all of these teams so you just go change team name and then over here let me make that a little bigger um, and this is where you um, Create, um, rename the team. So let's put Fancy. <clears throat> let's name this one Team Two. Um, 
I don't know, try just for the heck of it. Um, this one here, we can just name it, um, etc. And <clears throat> so once you once you um edited all of those um teams, added the team names for each um slot. You submit the changes and automatically will show over here. So let's say now you want to do, you have a, a league or a tournament going on for for Europe. So as you can see, same thing, same concept. Um, over here, you just want to change all of those 30 or 20 or 25 teams named. So you go on the Europe part, then you can do um, Fonsegui, um, two, um, try two, right, and submit changes, and it will automatically be added on this side. <clears throat> the four, um, um, league information. You can name the tournament as you want. Let's take, for example, Mobile Mayhem, right? You can put the name of the season. I would say, just for you guys to see this, change it. Uh, we'll name it Season 10. Um, and naturally, let me do North America. And for the host, um, whoever is going to be hosting let's say uh, this league or this tournament let's say Bobby play right here you can put the YouTube um, link or trouble link or whatever <clears throat> or whatever um, TP as Yeah, it will be a link there so people can see the whole link or if you don't like that you just can leave and fill up this part right um, so once this is done we go to um, schedule over here um, you can schedule see everything got updated season name region um, tournament name, the streamer, and his link. Um, over here, um, you can name this whatever you want. Um, as for date, you can set up the date which that game will be played and the time right here. Um, and then over here, these are all of the 30 slots that I talked talked about and you really want to just to be uh, as organized possible here you're gonna update every slot or every team this pretty much is the whole team right for battle royale it will be for players and to subs so now we need to add the players into the team slot so do we do that we can do that by adding the players um, over here we just do um, for North America we just can I don't know let's just do my name Angel um, here we can just do my Nick Techno freak, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, <clears throat> and another thing is, you don't need to have this NA um, in there. You can take it out anyway. It does it's not needed since they are labeled anyway. But I just have it there for a reference. So, as you can see. Once you submit those players, it got refreshed over here. See, 
So once you add all of those players per slot, he will be updated over here. So now we move on to the match on tables. So <clears throat> usually Mobile Mayhem do like three games per day a week or four. I set this up up to five. Well, this is a five week um, league, right? <clears throat> and you can set up the date right here um, where you're going to be running those games. And each, I set it up for three games per day. And it will be one, two, three, four, five six weeks per the for the for the league for the tournament <clears throat> so for the teams game one you're gonna put the placement uh let's say fonsegi game one placement it was second um you can see the points refresh based on the points set up that you had right um let's say as a whole as a team, um, as a whole team, they in total they have, uh, let's say in this game, game one, they have 20 kills. So you can see, it doesn't fit, right? There you go. <clears throat> so for game one, they already have, they collected a total of 145 points based on placement and, and total kills. So let's say they made it to first place. So that wad up a little more point based a game based on this system that you just that you just added there and so and so you, you know you will do the same thing for all 30 teams i mean all 20 teams whoever or whatever many teams are playing you set up the stats here per game now we go to the standings the standing <clears throat> the standings are based um total points so total points see first place it was from Ziggy. um <clears throat> total games play it says 18 and that's for the fact that i fill all of these games up you know that's the only reason it's showing up that they play 18 games throughout the league um and then we get some pretty cool stats here. See for total points, um, graphs. I love graphs. Um, analytics. You know, it, it's just graphs makes it look it stand out more. And for teams per kill, and this will be um, the team names, total kills, whatever, game plays, etc. Right. So, for Team Fonsegui, they play 18 games, total points for 945 throughout the whole entire six weeks. Um, they averaged 52.5 total kills for all 18 games. It was 95 kills as a team, and they were they averaged um, 4.3 kills per game as a team. Um, team performance over here you can look the team performance per week um, based on points and you can see over here that the what I the information that I added over here right it is keep rolling up I'm filling up everything else so you can see it got, this got filled up so you can see all of the teams data right here um analytics throughout the whole league and this will um show what they have done per week per team um see week one game one game two game three week two game one and etc et 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 so for the player details once you do your slot well the scheduling right and you add those well and, and you uh, automatically that data 
will be added over here as you can see and um, let's see one second There you go, that's better. I like that alignment better. Same thing for this. <sighs> okay. So over here per player, you keep adding up, um, you can see on the stats, um, it keep filling up over here as well. So per player, um, here, this is where you keep adding up. So, um, player, um, let's say Angel, right, Angel? Um, we go to the match table. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, team performance. Player detail. Okay, so here you're gonna be putting per player using the in game stats. You can fill this up. They had one kill. Um, how many wins the, as a team that player had? So I just put two wins. Um, fancy he to had two wins. How many MVPs he was um, during the season? So you just keep adding up uh, one. Then game three comes in. He was MVP again. So you add it up there and just keep adding it up. And here you keep adding up the total kills. Um, then that will be up to game three, right? Um, for week one, then week two, game one, they added um, another five kills, so that will be 60, and it just keep going on and on and on, and you can see the score getting, is improving their score, so I added for damage as well, and you can see that again, over here, right, um, in MVPs, how many wins the team had? I give them um, a little extra points for the effort and um, for <coughs> helping out um, the team to get a win, a W. So they also get ranked for that as well um, as a team effort. Um, players, okay. Then let's say that player had he rescued um, game one. He had to rescue, he rescued two of uh, his teammates. So you have to do the same thing, add up, then game two. He rescued one more, so that will be three. And you keep getting points for the same thing, again, based on this, right? Whatever point system you set up here. You, you can change this anytime as you like. <clears throat> All of those values. So over here you can see this, I made it, so you can see team um, in individually, um, so let's say not that team, uh, let's do, let's do Fonsigi, right, it shows all six players and the stats um, that they have throughout the, the season or the league, um, here you just get rid of the sorting. Um, try gaming, same thing, or any any team that you want to look at, right? Um, okay, once all of this is filled up, you keep moving this to the database, and you, um, uh, let's see, debug. Okay, that's, that's easy, I can... So over here, all of that data will be saved so you don't lose it just in, just for the fact that you want to see um, data throughout the whole, um, like overall. So you could do like 
20 different seasons in a year and all that data will keep piling up over here in the database so you get a better ranking system so here is where the teams are being ranked see like <coughs> a slap number team 30 they had the most amount of point and that is just for the fact um, um, if you look here I added a whole bunch uh, let's see of kills um, etc etc et <clears throat> so they've been ranked based on their total kills and placement and, and all the stuff um, let's see where we at same thing for the player um it pretty much ranked them as the best player which it can be used for mvp um, um for the killing um it you can get the total here as well right um so this is just all about stats um to rank that player properly based on performance is not based because I like this guy or I don't like him it's just all about performance um, so let's say you want to search for a particular player hopefully it works because I did this very fast angel there you go it will find that player and it will give me all his stats up to you know for for the league for the six weeks that he played or whatever so just clear and it will bring back every everything <clears throat> so the team ranking by score it shows pretty much again analytics um i did um added a chart there um tournament rankings here is where the the finals will look like and it tells all the on um, the the regions you can change the regions here again right um and it show you what exactly they have done per region and then the tiers this is pretty cool because it like like the galaxy network they have a, a tier system <clears throat> um well this is this it can get better than than this um based on all the performance that the player had um well actually team tier right so based on the performance that the team had overall or is having throughout different seasons on your own league <coughs> those players based on points are ranked by tiers so pro tier i added that amount of bomb um, teams and this is overall which is pretty cool because it put every single team from all four regions and you get you know you can see which team like worldwide are the best based on performance so you can see the pro tier these are here this means that it went down well it's minus one <coughs> over here it tells it went down based on the last performance so you rank tiers not monthly like galaxy um, network does this is done instantly based on every game so you rank up um rank tiers um see pro tier tier one tier two and low tier 
so do the same thing for North America teams only Europe Asia and South America same concept for all teams same thing for players now, obviously there's more there are way lot more players than teams so there's more um, um, players per tier so pro tier which is pretty much the best tier um, of all these pretty much are professional players um, tier one which are good players as well they professional players um, same thing tier two players right and same thing same concept overall or North America players only Europe players only Asia or South America and again every player goes up or down tier based on the performance on each single game now <clears throat> this is the part that pretty much <coughs> is um, like Galaxy Network could do um, but I did it all in one just to have a complete ranking system in one place and over here you just can name um, Galaxy you can name <clears throat> you can partner with different um, league organizers throughout the community to get this one done or you can do it using just yours um, your only which is are the red um, tabs over here now over here you name it as, as whatever tournament name is let's say network let's let's say that is um, a tournament so here you do placement you add the placement um, per team during that tournament um, or during that game it probably it might be three games so you just keep adding up the tournament see right here and how many kills they had <coughs> per game for that first game let's say 25 <clears throat> and this guy was first place let me make this to Fancyagi one and this guy second place um, again it will get updated once it's done over here you can change you can change here the region for that tournament and once you fill this up you submit the tournament is same thing I this this is an easy fix so I can I do that later right here it's very easy I just did this this took me this project took me like two months to do there's a lot of formulas a lot of VBA is is huge so anyway once that is added now we have a ranking system over here for all <clears throat> teams right and refresh same thing i work on that later um and all of that data is moved to all i named them all tournament all ranking and all database meaning this will be like a ranking system for different tournaments community tournaments and that way you can rank them all based on performance throughout the whole community tournaments instead of just ranking them based on your own league but you can just do half you can just do your own league and not worry about this part right here so these are the databases where all that data are is um, stored <clears throat> and that's pretty much 
hit. Um, that's pretty much how everything you can see here. Team performance individually. So <clears throat> and then what else? Um, and then yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. So anyway, I just want to show you something that I done. It's been quite a while. I used to do this for a living before. Back in the days, like 10, 7 years ago, 5, 7 years ago, I used to do just analytics um, for esports. And But I don't want to get into those details. Um, barely, I, don't, I always stay in the background without, I, I don't like taking credit for anything. So anyway, I just want to show you what I have going on and the multiplayer version of it of this is insane if this if you guys probably think this is very nice or crazy because actually 100% We don't have anything like it in Call of Duty mode and I guarantee you this not by 100 but by 1000% and the amount of work that I put into this is is ridiculous. It's not even worth it. Um, unless you're doing something big for your own. So anyway, um, hope you guys like it and tell me what you guys think. Sorry for the long video, um, but it's a very spent um, spent uh, <clears throat> spreadsheet for me to explain a little. I'm probably skip few functionalities too. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.